Oh yeah, definitely the feed side. So, myself and Dame are on a piece of property that we've actually been working most of the summer on the SD channel. And it's huge. And it's all old farm, it's all overgrown just like everything you guys see us show you here in New Hampshire. But we're looking for a place somewhere in here. On the 1892 map you found a name, a square, somewhere back here. Yep. One of the days out digging you found 20 feet of wall. Yep. And then another day we found another odd stretch of wall back there. Somebody was out there, probably a cabin site, but uh, boy we, we put miles in and... We, I, look, we've been out here eight weeks. We've got nine holes established. Yeah. It's pretty wild, but today we just want to come out and look around, take our time, see if we can find anything. Because essentially what we're dealing with is the wall right here you saw coming in is the edge wall of 150 acres of basically, you know, an ocean of vegetation but moderately good farmland back in the day. Right. It's not too much this, not too much that. But finding a footprint of say 30 by 30. If in a, that. In 150 <laughs> acres. Either way, let's go, we're gonna have fun. So I don't know if you can hear Dame. He's out over there. He's you can hear him swinging over stuff. And then when you really look around, there's no bucket. There's stuff. If this was mapped in the 1890s, there's a good chance you know, it was here for a while into the early 1900s. But it's just odd you come in several hundred feet off the road in a beautiful, you know, relatively worked piece of land and there's 25 feet of wall in there and there's stuff in the ground we just you know this is only our second time looking for it but we just can't seem to find a footprint but we're gonna try so let's show them the kind of stuff we're dealing with here very old I think gas cap oh yeah you know, it had uh, two little flanges there. It was filled with vulcanized rubber, uh, which just fell away right. and turned to nothing. Um, yeah. Because the other thing that makes this place, I don't want to say a challenge, but fun, 1750s farm, 1800s people living here, mid-1900s cabin, mm -hmm. and the mystery 1800s. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, on the map. <laughs> All right, I'm about to dig something odd, so let's see what that is. This did not sound deep, but it was really loud. I figured I'd check it out. Oh, tobacco tin. So, lots of this stuff. Yep, a shotgun shell. Old one. You seem to be sitting on just a tight concentration of activity. Yeah. No doubt about that. No way. It's another one of those weird lead buttons. Wow. And for those of you watching, so on the SD channel, we, like I said, have been digging out here for eight weeks or so. And we have been finding those things all over the place. They're like little lead snap buttons, right? Yeah. This is, that's the furthest one out. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Very strange.
Oh wow. I don't have to go far for that. It is a piece of leather with a rivet in it, but it's not like the very old ones that we normally dig. Huh. Might be more where that came from. Yep, oh two. Check again. Nope, so three rivets in total with some leather. <laughs> Working in the stuff? Well, I, I was over there. Um, I, I actually walked back down to the car and, and then turned around and it, it felt like there was a natural flow coming up onto this hump. So I come up and I get a, a beer can signal, but you know, who knows, maybe it'd be a cool something. And it was. Oh, whoa. Wow. How's that for a rosette? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a king rosette. It was loud and slamming. Look at that thing. It probably wasn't even deep, right? Uh, you know, just below the carpet. Right. Yeah. Wow, nice job. Yeah. That thing would deflect a bullet easily. <laughs> it was it was an, a, a solid 88. <laughs> ah, sardine tin. Yeah, well, I figured what what the hell. Good. <laughs> nice. Jeez, that did not sound like a casing. No, it didn't. It sounded stretchy. Yeah. Well, there's iron in there with it. Deep in the ground of the forest is... Hub cover. Yeah, I heard that from way off. Oh, yeah. Well, there's another... This is another scattering of noise in this open few feet. Right. All right. Yep, keep plucking them. More tin can. Oh, tobacco. Tin. Hmm. Oh, look at that plug. What is that? Whoa. Well, that's a fancy thing. That is a fancy thing. <laughs> well, it's got uh, things on it. So what does it say? Patent September 27, 92. It's got to be 1892. What a strange thing. Yeah, I mean that was six, seven inches deep. Yeah. Huh. Just weird, weird stuff out here. Yeah. Well, it does match up with that 1892 map. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> weird. Wow. All right. Well, I didn't film the signal because it sounded like stove parts and uh, yeah, it ended up being stove parts, or part of a stove. No doubt about that. Whoa! Yeah. That was an incidental. I was gonna put my bag down and I dropped my shovel straight down. No, sir, you heard clink. And it went clink! Colonel clink, wow. So, preserve jar topper. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I figured I'd dig it. Yeah. Preserved jar lid. That's why it rang up the way it did. Actually, that's probably what the rest of it is. Wow, look at that. You rarely ever find glass with the lantern stuff. Wow, iron too, huh? Yeah, it was just not ugly enough. 
to not dig. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. Mm. So what we're starting to assume is that we definitely know there was a cabin right around here. We're starting to think that what was on the map, 1892, was probably here up into the early 1900s. And it was not correctly placed on the map. Yeah, because this is the spot. I mean, there's just yep. so much stuff in the ground. Yep. So, I think our cabin site just happens to go back turn of the century, the other century. Yeah, and then reoccupation. Yeah, because there's just way too much stuff mm -hmm. out in the back end of a field to be... I want to find nothing. something that's clearly 19th century, late 19th century. That, that's a... Well, that thing said 90, patent date 92. Oh, that's right, it did. They don't do dates like that hmm. on things anymore. All right. So. Oh, that, that's 1892 then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on the surface. Wow. Pretty much. Look at this. I kicked back. Was going to re-swing. Nice. That is a cool button. Jeez, it doesn't even feel like metal. Oh, it's not. You want to see an incidental? Yeah. Wow. I'm just, well, I just did a mason jar lid, preserve jar lid thingy. You know, the signals are just whack, whack, whack. So I, I kicked, I kicked all this back. Uh huh. And this was under the leaf. Oh, nice. Yeah. Check it out. Vulcanite? That wasn't the signal. It, it was literally Dame, like that. <laughs> is you, it a good year? I don't know what it is. I haven't even inspected it because I was just so shocked by the... Yeah, it's kind of rubbery. We have not found very many true buttons on this property. Yeah. That was the signal, and that just happened to be under the leaf cover. Perfect. That's my find of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's Is like it vulcanized rubber? Is that good year at all? No. That is awesome. Huh? Incidentals. Oh yeah. Well, that that is it. That was fun. Interesting things, mm -hmm. good incidentals. Yes. And I think we've determined the cabin is also the 1892 site. Slacken map maker, probably an amateur. I mean, he's off by half a mile. Yo, the map is crooked than a roach's hind leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you soon.